Have people told you that being a landlord is awful or just too much work? Well, stick around because in this video, I'm gonna share with you five things I love about owning multifamily properties. Hi, I'm Jess Powers. I'm a real estate agent with Coastal Properties Group, and this is my YouTube channel all about living in the Hope State. Check out my weekly videos and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. So I'm not a big time investor by any stretch of the imagination, but I've learned enough over the past few years to understand how the numbers work, the pros and the cons, and what to look for when it comes to buying multifamily properties. I got started by devouring as many books as I could on the topic and then through actually owning properties. The first thing I love is that buying a multifamily property as an owner-occupied investment can allow you to purchase in a neighborhood that you otherwise may be priced out of. For example, on the west end of Providence, single family properties, well, they're like hard to find unicorns, and that means they're priced really high. It's a steep mortgage to pay on my own, but a property with rental income from one of the units, that allows me to either entirely cover the mortgage from the rental unit, or to at least have help covering that mortgage. I love that multifamily properties add income to reduce the burden of your monthly mortgage payments. That's the idea. So ideally, three or four unit property that you live in will provide you with enough income to pay the entire monthly mortgage and escrows. And maybe if you're in a high rent area, well, you might even be able to net a little after your expenses. But a two unit property, well, that might just give you more living space. So many two unit properties in Rhode Island, they have one unit that's on one level, and then the second unit will have two floors of living space. While the unit you decide to rent out may not cover the entire mortgage, it should at least cut it down pretty significantly. On the other hand, if I'm buying an investment property that I'm not planning to live in, well, I'm looking for at least a net positive cash flow after all expenses of at least a thousand a month. Some investors, well, they may expect a higher return, but depending on the, how the market is and how much cash flow you have available to put down, those numbers are gonna change. You gotta learn how to do the math to figure out how to meet your goals, and I can help you with that. Now, I'm more interested in specific numbers to set as a goal that I can help people who are getting started understand than cap rates and percentages. If you're looking for that kind of talk, well, head over to biggerpockets.com because I think their site is super useful. Another aspect I love is that you have an opportunity to provide safe and clean housing for people in your community. We all know there are scumbag landlords everywhere and they don't care about who their tenants are, much less the neighborhood. And believe it or not, it can be really hard to find for people to find housing that is clean, safe, and affordable. So you've got an opportunity to invest in your community and make smart financial decisions for yourself as well as make a difference in people's lives. That's pretty awesome. Maybe you wanna create your own micro community. Buying a multifamily property gives you an opportunity to buy a property with your friends or family members. Multi-generation living is gaining popularity and multifamily properties suit these needs often a whole lot better than a single family property with an in-law shoved in the basement. Millennial buyers and their boomer parents, they're pooling their resources to meet their needs while they're also keeping some individual space. Uh, maybe it's close friends, they're forming a partnership and buying a property together, especially a three unit where one unit adds income to reduce the expenses. There are opportunities galore and they're only as limited as your creativity. Now, number five on my list of things that I love about owning a multifamily property is that you can leverage your property for more purchasing power to build financial stability and wealth. So here's what worked for me. My first multifamily property was a three unit that I lived in. The apartments were super small, but the math worked in my favor so that the total mortgage was paid for as well as my utilities. A year and a half later, I was able to leverage that property in order to buy a two unit property. Say what? Right, the only reason I was able to buy a second multifamily property was because I owned the first. I was able to count the rental income from my current property towards my income plus the potential income of the property I was buying, which gave me purchase power I wouldn't have otherwise had given my current income. So my first property was obtained through a conventional loan and my second property, which I was going to move into, I was able to buy with a low down payment through an FHA loan. And between the two properties, the rental income from the units covered both of my mortgages, the escrows and the property taxes, all paid for. And I was able to move from that tiny apartment into a property that was a lot nicer, had a lot more space for me and my kids, and also it had a yard for that dog that they wanted. 
Now, two years ago, I was able to purchase a third multifamily with three units as an investment property. And again, all of those incomes added together helped me to leverage that purchase power. So that's what I love, being able to buy in a neighborhood I'd be priced out of, having rental income to pay or offset my mortgage, having an opportunity to invest in my community and provide safe and affordable housing, creating an opportunity to invest in a property with my friends or my family members, and creating an opportunity that builds wealth. Now stay tuned next week for part two, things I hate about owning a multifamily property. Spoiler alert, I don't really hate anything about it, but there are definitely things I wish I'd known when I had started. Now maybe you're looking for a multifamily to buy. Well, let's get started. Reach out, I'm always here to help.